former British Army Intelligence and Security Officer Philip Ingram. And um, Philip, um, good to see you. Um, what do we know about the attacks that happened overnight? Yeah, the Russians have gone back to attacking um, centres of population and critical national infrastructure. So they attacked three cities. Um, uh, Lviv, right in the very west, um, which is they haven't attacked much in the past. Kyiv, the capital, and Zaporizhia. And we can see some of the damage, and uh, this, this, is, this is into Kyiv. Um, 35 um, kamikaze drones, mm -hmm. um, uh, 32 were shot down, or 35 missiles altogether. Some of them were um, the calibre cruise missiles, which have got that longer range. Uh, but the Ukrainians are having great success in shooting them down. However, a few got through big amounts of explosives on them, and they caused a lot of damage on the ground. Um, a lot of reports about what's happening in a counter-offensive, and the Deputy Defence Minister for Ukraine has said today that the biggest blow in Kyiv's counter-offensive is yet to come. You haven't seen anything yet, as it were. Yeah, the, the Ukrainians set the conditions for people not to quite understand the complexity of what's going on at the moment last year, whenever they took a big chunk of land in Kharkiv in the northeast back, very quickly indeed, um, and uh, they took a big chunk in Herson in the south back as well. They're, this is very different, this counteroffensive. They're still in a probing phase. They're attacking in sort of three real areas. Bakhmut, which... Um, the Russians had spent uh, a year trying to capture. Um, they're, they're moving in there, just south of Donetsk, and then from um, down Zaporizhia, down towards the coast, down towards Meliopol, and trying to cut that land bridge. And they're looking for gaps in the Russian defences. They're probing the Russian defences to see if they can get weaknesses to then get the real armoured punch and push it through. They haven't made the decision to do that yet, but this is... The Russians have had a, an awful lot of time to um, prepare the ground. The really deliberate defences in there. They will slow the Ukrainians down, but the Ukrainians have to be slow and deliberate in what they're doing. Otherwise, there's a danger when they move their larger armoured formations that, that they will get hit quite hard. So this is very, very different. They're having some successes at the moment. The Ukrainians have taken, you know, certainly down in the Zaporizhia area, um, up to seven kilometres of penetrated Russian defensive lines in only a couple of weeks. You know, Bakhmut, the Russians, it took them um, over a year to get five kilometres. So that's putting it into perspective. Philip, thank you. Philip Ingram there. Oh.